Hello children, I welcome you all to this English classroom. Let us start the class with a beautiful quote. Learning never exhausts the mind. Learning never exhausts the mind. If you want to learn more about your mind, you will not be able to learn more about your mind. So keep learning and elevate your standard. Before going into the prose piece, let us have a look at the learning outcomes. Learning outcome number one. Listens and reads to gather information and answer the questions. Learning outcome number two. Speak fluently with proper pronunciation, intonation and pass with appropriate grammar. Learning outcome number three. Use and edit passages with proper punctuation marks, grammar and correct spelling. Children, today we are going to see a beautiful prose piece from 9th standard english the title is i can't climb trees anymore i can't climb trees anymore it was written by ruskin bond let us have a look at the author ruskin bond was born on 19th may in himachal pradesh he was an award winning indian author of british descent his father was a british soldier he was so much renowned for his role in promoting children's literature in india For instance in those days children's literature was widely acknowledged and recognized in european countries but whereas in asian countries in india children's literature was not at all recognized but authors like ruskin bond worked on it and helped to elevate children's literature in india and for this act the indian council for children's education has acknowledged his work in addition to that He also received Sahitya Academy Award in the year 1992. Sahitya Academy Award is a very prestigious award for any writer and he received it for a wonderful work called Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra. In addition to that, he also received Padma Shri in the year 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. As a prolific writer, he wrote more than 500 short stories, essays and novels. and his famous work blue umbrella was made into a movie which later received the national award in the year 2007 for the best children's literature movie and that's all about the author now we will start the prose here ruskin bond deals excellently with the emotions and memories of a middle aged person who wants to revive his youth the visit one day a middle aged gentleman visits his old house he stood on the grass verge by the side of the building and monitored the beautiful old house the old house which was built with solid blocks of granite was not altered at all it was simply the same but he was able to monitor a new outhouse in the campus and he was enjoying the atmosphere in those days when he used to live there there used to be a lot of trees because the visitor's grandmother loved gardening and she is a woman of nature but now today some trees were chopped off only fewer trees were there but he was so glad to look at one tree that is the old jackfruit tree which he loved so much it stood at the side of the building casting its shade on the house and immediately he remembered his grandmother saying the shades of a tree falling on a house is a blessing avaru and martha paakraru and martha ude nell and the veetla vilugudhu அவங்க கிராண்ட் மதர் என்ன சொன்னான்றதை இன்னைக்கு நினச்சி பார்க்குறாரு ஒரு மரத்துடைய நிழல் வீட்டு மேலே படுறது இயற்கையோட ஆசீர்வாதம்னு சொல்றாரு ஸோ ஹியர் த ப்ரசன்ட் ஓனர்ஸ் மஸ்ட் பி ரிசீவிங் இட் அண்ட் நவ் ஸ்லோலி ஸ்டார்டட் டு ரிமெம்பர் ஆல் த ஓல்டன் டேஸ் அட் த ஸ்பாட் வேர் ஹி ஸ்டூட் தேர் யூஸ் டு பி டேர்ன் ஸ்டைல் வாட் இஸ் அ டேர்ன் ஸ்டைல் இட் இஸ் அ மெக்கானிக்கல் கேட் வித் ரிவால்விங் ஆர்ம்ஸ் ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் டு அ போஸ்ட் இன் தோஸ் டேஸ் டேர்ன் ஸ்டைல் கேட்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி common but right now we don't have that kind of gates we all became modernized and we install some other aspects when i was a kid in my school there used to be a turnstile only one person can enter through it it will have a revolving action it will prevent a crowd entry into the park or in the school so there used to be a turnstile on which the author used to swing and revolve around until he gets dizzy it's a wonderful experience and right now the turnstile is missing and the opening is walled up on the other side of the wall he could see tall hollyhocks it's a beautiful eurasian plant which has large flowers when he was looking at the house a beautiful little girl comes out of the house and the girl approaches the visitor and asks him 
what are you looking at? Because when some stranger is looking at our place, this would be the question that we ask him. The girl might be 12 or 13 years old. She had lively eyes and long black hair. That was the right person to speak with. And she repeated the same question to the author. What is the purpose of visit? Is he there to buy the house? But the gentleman said, no baby, I am not here to buy the house. And he also inquired the girl about her father and the house. The girl replied, we are living here for three years and my father is an army officer. He is a colonel. And now the author explains her that before 25 years, the visitor used to stay in the same place as a boy, as an young man. When the grandmother passed away, when the gentleman's grandmother passed away, they have nothing left. So they sold the place and moved out of the town. Listening to these words, the girl wanted to invite the gentleman to the house to have a closer look. But at first, the gentleman hesitates because if some elderly person is there in the house, they may not encourage these kind of activities of children. The girl informs the gentleman that her parents has gone for the clubs and she is allowed to bring her friends to the house. But first, the visitor hesitates. And now, meeting the girl and enjoying the atmosphere, he felt so young that day, he wanted to climb the wall. He made a decision to climb the wall as he used to do that once. Minadi, our chinna painar kamode, and the severe igri gudikirde, or vadi kya chindar. Yena appa or romba yenga andar. But right now, that's not the case. But still, he started to climb the wall. He felt very difficult. At a certain point of time, he muttered himself that he shouldn't have done that. Padi door yena the kapra, our kavre suli kitar. Tya vilada valiya, sinji tomo, paisa hi pocho, amlaala yena muri ye. Apne na romba feel pandra. But the girl lent her hand and pulled the visitor inside. And the pony now pondra, kaya purchi, our ulla ilitu vidra. After getting down, he was completely exhausted and he sat on the stone bench below the mango tree and inhaled the scent of the beautiful, awesome mangoes. Oi and the kalla laukande, appa, apne rested titikar. And he started to converse with the little girl and he just shared his past experience with the girl. And he said that that is the place, the stone bench in the place where his grandmother used to sit and lie down after maintaining the garden. Especially pruning the rose bushes and cutting down the bougainvillea trees. And the grandmother Rested upon. He closed his eyes and remembered all the aspects that happened in his life. He remembered the sound, the music of the piano. His grandfather used to play piano. There is where he also learned music. So he remembered the music of the piano, the chiming of grandfather's old clock and the beautiful tweet of Bajirigas. What is a Bajiriga? Okay, it's a beautiful bird, an Australian based bird. And the sound of the bird is so pleasant the author used to admire the bird and he also remembers his grandfather cranking up the old car engine. Nowadays, the modern cars, it's quite difficult to get that kind of a typical sound. But in those days, the old car engines had a typical sound when we act to start up the car. And he remembers that as well. And he also shared an important piece of information. Treasures in the jackfruit. The jackfruit tree, the author simply loved the jackfruit tree so much he used to climb on the jackfruit tree when he was a boy, when he was a young man. And there used to be a small hollow where he used to hide some of his articles, especially few marbles, a book that is not supposed to read, few old coins and an iron cross which belonged to his grandfather. And this iron cross was given to him by a German soldier. Papathingana and the Arumiyan and the jackfruit tree. Author Rombo Purcha, the visitor Rombo Rombo Purcha or tree at that. Chinna visa arghu mohdu, and the thick branches a yeri yeri avaru practice pongu vaar. Anga uru chinna bondhu irukko, uru chinna hollow irukko, adhile yuro oda things that kondu poyi marachi vetschu paru. Adha padhu kaa karthi kaa. Enna inna vetschu irukkudhu adhu patthi na, chinna chinna marbles notes, coins, book, adhilama rombo mukhyama, avaru tata avaru old iron cross.
ஓகே அது ஒரு ஜெர்மன் சோல்ஜர் அவன் தாத்தாவுக்கு கிஃப்ட் பண்ணுது அண்ட் த கேர்ள் இமீடியட்லி ஆஸ்ட் டூ யூ வாண்ட் டு கிளைம் த ட்ரீ நவ் பட் ஆஃப்டர் கிளைம்பிங் த வால் ஹி வாஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி டயர்ட் அண்ட் ஹி மேட் அப் இஸ் மைண்ட் ஓகே நோ மோர் கிளைம்பிங் பட் த கேர்ள் வாஸ் ஸோ கிளவர் அண்ட் ஷீ வாண்ட் டு கிளைம் த ட்ரீ அண்ட் லுக் ஃபார் த ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் பட் த விசிட்டர் செட் ஹ கேர்ள் இட்ஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் ஹோப்ஃபுல்லி நத்திங் வுட் பி தேர் but the curious girl wanted to climb the tree and she climbed the thick branches of the tree and she found the iron cross from the hollow and she gave that to the visitor he held the iron cross in his arm and it gave him immense pleasure and he gifted the same to the little girl because she found the red iron cross pa pathinga na avar 25 varshathukku munnadi and the vechittu pona things la innum irukuma nu avar kanavula kuda nenich paathirukka maataru but the curiosity of the girl helped him to get it back and the ponna enna pandra and the tree e romba sarama pottu yeri and the chinna hollow la kaiye vittu anga edha things irukka nu paakra and she found the iron cross and the iron cross yunga thatta or british soldier ivarku parisa or german soldier kudutha da in the iron cross adu romba special adha and the ponna ki avaru gift ah kudukraru yen appadina avada adha kandupidicha abingiradhaaga and he sat down on the garden he enjoyed the entire atmosphere he enjoyed the uh, environment everything and now it's time for him to move anga ukkande thanna thane enjoy pannite and the garden and the palai ninaivugal ella appadi avaru revive pannite ipo and the edathu vittu kelamba vendiya neram vandachu so he started and the girl accompanied him till the gate ana ponna avaru kudave gate varaikum vara he crossed the road and waved at her and now there was a sprightliness in his walk or kaalla or pudipu or ஒரு எனர்ஜியும் ஓகே ரொம்ப நாள் கழிச்சு அவருடைய பழைய வீட்டை பார்த்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் ஒரு எனர்ஜி இருந்தது அந்த எனர்ஜியோட வேகமாக நடந்து போறாரு பட் ஹி மிஸ்ட் சம்திங் தேர் இன் த ஹவுஸ் சம்திங் கிரைட் அலவுட் இன் இஸ் ஹார்ட் த மேங்கோ சென்ட் ப்ரீஸ் மேட் இஸ் பிளட் கோஸ் இன் இஸ் வெயிட் அண்ட் ஹி ஃபர்காட் ஃபார் மோமெண்ட் தட் ஹி கான்ட் கிளைம் ட்ரீஸ் ஏனி மோர் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொருத்தருக்கும் கடந்த காலம் ஒன்று இருக்கும் ஃபார் இன்ஸ்டன்ஸ் ஈவன் வென் ஐ வாஸ் எ கிட் ஐ யூஸ் டு விசிட் மை கிராண்ட் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ட்யூரிங் மை ஹாலிடேஸ் I always enjoy the food cooked by my grandmother because she used to cook specially for me. In addition to that, my grandfather used to take me in his old bicycle through the paddy fields. I simply enjoyed that and after their period, even whenever I visit that place, the village, I remember all the good memories. So, if you have a good memory, you can see the good memories, you can see the good memories, you can see the good memories, you can see the good memories. ஒரு அற்புதமான காலநிலையை திரும்பி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அது ரொம்ப பிரபாதமாக இருக்கும் அண்ட் டு கன்க்ளூட் த லெசன் ஆல்வேஸ் லுக் பேக் த பாஸ்ட் ஆல்வேஸ் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் த ஸ்டெப்பிங் ஸ்டோன்ஸ் விச் ஹெல்ப் யூ டு எலிவேட் யூ இன் த லைஃப் அண்ட் நவ் வி வில் மூவ் ஆன் தி எக்ஸசைஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் நியூ வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்ட் இன் திஸ் ப்ரோஸ் பீஸ் நவ் வில் சி த க்ளோசரி அலாங் வித் த க்ளோசரி ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு சே த பார்ட் ஆஃப் த ஸ்பீச் ஆஸ் வெல் ஸ்டைல் இட்ஸ் அ நவ் a mechanical gate of revolving arms fixed to a post only one person can enter at a time okay in modern days you can see modernized turnstiles only in the airport and modern day railway stations it will prevent crowd entry only one person can enter through it holly hocks it's a noun holly hocks a tall eurasian plant of the mallow family with large showy flowers it's a beautiful plant okay it will grow tall there used to be a large flower okay showy flower colonel it's a noun colonel a rank of officer in the army here in the story the little girl's father is an army officer okay he is a colonel trapeze it's a noun trapeze a horizontal bar hanging by two ropes free to swing used by acrobats in circus for example circus la circus kalangal la paathirupinga அந்த ஆக்ரோபேட் அந்த சாகசம்லாம் செய்யறதுக்கு ஒரு கட்டை ரெண்டு பக்கம் கயிறு கட்டின மாதிரி இருக்கும் அதில் தொங்கிட்டு தான் அவங்க சாகசம் செய்வாங்க அண்ட் தட்ஸ் வாட் கால் இட் அஸ் ட்ரப்பீஸ் ஈவன் த பெயிண்டர்ஸ் யூஸ் டு கிளைம் ஆன் த ட்ரப்பீஸ் டு பெயிண்ட் த வால்ஸ் மட்டர்ட் இட்ஸ் அ வேர்ட் டு அட்டர் வேர்ட்ஸ் இன் லோ டோன் டு அட்டர் வேர்ட்ஸ் இன் லோ டோன் ஃபார் இன்ஸ்டன்ஸ் வென் த ஆர்த் கிளைம் த வால் ஹி ஃபெல்ட் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் and out of his breath he muttered to himself that he should not have climbed the wall at all the next one is slithered it's a verb slithered slide or slip unsteadily on a loose or slippery surface 
to slide or slipper to slide or slip pruning it's a verb pruning the act of trimming a plant so here in the story the visitor's grandmother is a lover of gardens she maintained the garden very well so now and then she used to prune the rose plant and the bougainvillea bushes okay next word is bougainvillea some people used to call this as bougainvillea it's a wrong pronunciation the right pronunciation is bougainvillea it's a noun an ornamental shrubby climbing plant that is widely cultivated in tropics namo oru pakkam anda kaagida poo solluvom la that's the same okay bougainvillea it's a noun and now we are going to see whether the statement is true or false the visitor had few old coins in the tree yes true okay the visitor used to keep few old coins on the hollow of the old jackfruit tree the purpose of visit is to buy the house back false the visitor was not there to buy back the house he just wanted to visit it once and he wanted to remember all his good old days the bygone days as a boy the visitor used to swing on the turnstile as a boy the visitor used to swing on the turnstile true because there used to be a turnstile in the house and the visitor used to swing on it till he gets dizzy so the statement is true a girl came out of the house true a little girl of 12 or 13 years old came out of the building and she communicated with the visitor the visitor climbed over the wall easily the visitor climbed over the wall easily false he climbed the wall with lot of difficulties and finally the little girl helped him to climb the wall so it was not an easy task statement is false and now we will choose the right answer from the given the story i can't climb trees anymore highlights the importance of dash option a old age option b youth option c childhood option d middle age the right answer is option d middle age the house which was visited by the man dash a remained unchanged b was totally changed c was slightly repaired d was given a facelift option a remained unchanged is the right answer who said a blessing rests on the house where the shadow of a tree falls a grandmother b uncle c grandfather d the visitor option a grandmother is the right answer the visitor came back to the house because he dash option a wanted to see the jackfruit tree b was looking for his lost youth c wanted to look again at his old house d wanted to buy the house option b was looking for his lost youth is the right answer the last question the visitor gifted the dash to the little girl the visitor gifted the dash to the little girl option a iron cross option b marbles option c bronze medal option d old coins option a iron cross is the right answer and now we will see some question and answer which is at the book back explain blessings rest on the house where the shadow of a tree falls answer the narrator's grandmother used to say these words she felt that a house with a tree shadow falls on it was blessed question number 2 what did the writer observe about the house answer the writer observed that the old house he had lived in as a boy hadn't changed much the turnstile was gone and only fewer trees were there question number 3 how did he get back the iron cross the girl in the house climbed up the thick branch of the tree and found the iron cross from the hollow the girl in the house climbed up the thick branch of the tree and found the iron cross from the hollow and now in the story a lot of short forms are used not only in prose you can see short forms even in novels essays and in short stories okay so now we will see the full form of the given short forms you the full form of you is you would or you had they have the full form of they have is they have 
the full form of he'd is he had or he would. He's the full form of he's he is. Wasn't the full form of wasn't was was not. Isn't the full form of isn't is is not. Okay. Similarly, lot of other short forms are there. Short forms are used in short stories, novels, and in essays. So we should know the full forms as well. And now we are going to enter a writing exercise. So listen to the question properly and answer appropriately. After six years, you are visiting the primary school where you studied. You get a chance to sit at the same place where you used to sit in your standard two classroom. Our version, I'd say, you are second standard player in that classroom. That that year player. உக்கார கூடிய ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பம் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்குது அதை ரிமம்பர் பண்ணி நீங்க ரெண்டு கொஸ்டினுக்கு ஆன்சர் பண்ண போறீங்க ஓகே இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन இஸ் வாட் டு யூ ரிமம்பர் அண்ட் தி செகண்ட் क्वेश्चन இஸ் who do you miss badly your friends or teacher and now there is a simple model answer given here and you can write your own answers answer for the question number 1 i remember the old days with lot of fun I remember the care and affection of the teachers. I also remember a friend who sits who used to sit next to me and share his things with me. An answer for the question number 2. I miss my friends. We had a wonderful time together. We used to play hide and seek even during the lunch intervals. We used to share our snacks and articles during the break. On seeing these pictures you would have gone down your memory lane write a paragraph in about 50 words describing your favorite sport when you were young pathinga na aar pictures kuduthirukanga ungalku pidicha vilayatta chinna vayasla idu ellame nama velayadi irpom ungalku pidicha vilayatta choose panni you are supposed to write 50 words a paragraph on your own for example here in the first picture a boy is playing with a motorcycle tire okay ellarume chinna vayasla tire oti irpom and the second picture the traditional south indian sport called gilli even when i was a kid i used to play a lot i simply enjoyed playing gilli with my friends the local cricket in the third picture two kids are playing with palm leaf pinwheel okay it's an excellent game usually kids below 10 years old they used to enjoy that and the fourth picture a boy is aiming at something probably a mango or any fruit he is using his catapult and the fifth picture two guys are playing with kites the last one some children are playing with top and rope so all these six pictures will bring down your memory lane choose one from the picture and write about 50 words on your own okay children i hope you enjoyed the prose Right now we will have a small recapitulation of what we saw in the lesson. Here the author Ruskin Bond he deals and discusses with the emotion and memory of a middle-aged person. A middle-aged gentleman comes to visit his old house after 25 years. But still for the surprise the house which he used to live before 25 years was still the same. Because it was built with blocks of granite and there used to be a lot of trees in the compound but right now some trees are missing but he was so glad to see his favorite jackfruit tree and there used to be a turnstile in the compound on which the visitor used to swing all day until he gets dizzy now the turnstile is gone at the time a little girl with lively eyes and black long hair approaches the visit visitor she communicates with the gentleman and asks some questions for instance what is the purpose of visit is he here to buy back the house and the visitor explains her, her that he used to live there 25 years ago and after the departure of his grandmother they have nothing left in the town so they sold the house and moved out and the girl invites the person to the house and the author the visitor he tried his level best to climb the wall but he is completely exhausted after climbing the wall he sat under the mango tree on a beautiful stone bench and that is the place where his grandmother used to sit after maintaining the garden 
she loved gardening and especially she used to prune all the rose plant now the scent of the mango tree was so amazing he remembered all the things he remembered the sound of the piano his grandfather used to play play piano in addition to that there is where he learned how to play piano and he remembered the chiming of the clock he remembered his grandfather cranking up the old car engine etc and also he loved the tweets of the budgerigas a tiny australian plant when he was conversing with the girl he also mentioned about the jackfruit tree the jackfruit tree is his favorite in on which he used to climb when he was a boy and there is a hollow on the tree where he used to hide certain things and he shared that with the girl few marbles some old coins a book which which he is not supposed to read and an old iron cross which belonged to his grandfather the girl was so curious and she wanted to try to bring the articles back but the visitor said okay child this is 25 years ago and right now nothing would be there but the girl climbs up the thick branches of the jackfruit tree and found the iron cross romba sarama pattu or chinna ponnu or 12 13 vayas ponnu அந்த மரத்தை ஏறி அவருக்காக அந்த அயன் கிராஸை திருப்பி கொண்டு வந்து கொடுக்குறான் அதை பார்க்கும்போது அவருக்கு அவ்வளோ ஒரு ஆனந்தம் பிகாஸ் தட் அயன் கிராஸ் வாஸ் வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் தி அயன் கிராஸ் பிலாங் டு இஸ் கிராண்ட் ஃபாதர் அண்ட் ஹிஸ் கிராண்ட் ஃபாதர் வாஸ் அ பிரிட்டிஷ் சோல்ஜர் அண்ட் திஸ் வாஸ் கிஃப்டட் பை அ ஜெர்மன் சோல்ஜர் டு ஹிம் ஹி ப்ரிசர்வ் தட் ஃபார் சோ மெனி இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் நவ் ஹி ஹெல்த் இட் இன் இஸ் ஹேண்ட் விச் கேவ் ஹிம் இம்மன்ஸ் ப்ளஷர் பட் ஹி டி நாட் டேக் இட் வித் ஹிம் ஹி கிஃப்டட் தட் டு த லிட்டில் கேர்ள் because she took the step and found the iron cross and now after enjoying the day he wanted to move out the girl accompanied him till the gate after moving out he looked up and turned back and waved at her there was a sprightliness some energy in his step the day spent well because he was on the right day at the right time and with the right person in the right day right person abdin solradhu and the ponna da solraru அந்த குழந்தை இருந்தனால தான் அன்னைக்கு அவருக்கு எல்லாமே கிடைச்சது அவருடைய என்டையர் யூத்தை ரிவைவ் பண்ண மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபீலோட சந்தோஷத்தோட அவர் அந்த இடத்துக்கு போகிறாரு ஸோ சச் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் பீஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டோரி ரிட்டன் பை ரஸ்கின் பாண்ட் அண்ட் ஹீ இஸ் தி ஆத்தர் ஹூ ப்ரமோட்டட் சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் லிட்ரேச்சர் இன் இந்தியா அண்ட் ஹி ஹட் டன் சோ மெனி ஒர்க்ஸ் டு எலிவேட் த பர்பஸ் ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் ஹோப் யூ என்ஜாய் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி வில் மீட் அகெய்ன் வித் சம் அதர் டாபிக் தேங்க்யூ